God, this sounds really horrible. It sounds super lewd. Are there? Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> oh no! I can't, I'm not gonna be able to like, insta kill him, am I? Oh, he's got another fucking two health points as well. And I've forgotten how to fight him. Um, now, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh, dear. Right, so now I can I can pull the centipede out of him, right? With the spear. Is that the... That's the trick, right? Has he got any different moves? Probably doesn't for this, this phase, does he? Yeah, I've got to run away from that. I really hate that move a lot. Okay, what's the bullshit with the second phase then? What's he gonna do? Oh, are you kidding me? What is this bullshit? It's not funny. It's not funny. I'm not laughing. That's a lot of damage. Oh shit! That's a real bad combination there. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna switch over. I'm gonna switch over to the um, shurikens again. Thank you for the follow! <laughs> what the fuck is that? Ah, oh, 
didn't block it properly. Fuck you. Do I have to fight both? Do I still have to fight the other one? Or is he giving up? First fucking go! Actual first go! <laughs> Unless it's going to come back to life again, Jesus. Uh, Blitzer, thank you very much for the follow. Sorry about that. That was, that was like, stressful. <laughs> uh. Perfect. <laughs> when you've... Oh, what's this? I've never seen what happens if you don't kill the brown ape first. Oh. I'm glad to be of some service. Welcome in, Dream. How you doing? And Mash. Very good time for you guys to come in. Brown Ape just gets insane depression since you killed her mate. <clears throat> I'm really sorry. Kill the last boss in, in one try. I get the feeling I'm not going to. I, I will add my name as an, a, a sound effect, yeah. A sound effect? A sound effect. Although I can't really see many times where it would be used. But... Oh, did you, Ian? Yeah, that that d definitely felt easier. I think mainly because that second phase I was... I think the second phase is easier than the first phase, personally. Oh, yeah, to, to pull the spears, you have to press twice. Right, that's what I was doing wrong. So that would have made it way easier again, wouldn't it? Right. The Headless Guardian Ape was a colossal beast plagued with the power of the Undying. Yo, did we get two prayer beads for that? That's sick. And that... Don't stop twitching. The body isn't disappearing. I'm not... I'm not convinced. Hang on a minute. <laughs> There you go. Immortality severed. Fuck's sake. <laughs> yeah, Stagger Bar does seem easier than the first fight as well, yeah. I mean, we did, like, beat his ass up, so... Fucking <clears throat> genius! You didn't do that. Does it? It doesn't get back up again, though, right? Ninjutsu technique that wreaths a blade in the victim's blood, extending its reach. Costs spirit emblems to use, activated after a backstab death blow. The wolf discovered this technique upon beheading a foe with the mortal blade, forming a cursed sword from spilled blood. Though it bears likeness to the mortal blade, it cannot kill the undying. That sounds cool. Fuck you, centipede. Guardian Apes Burrow. Uh, I don't have enough to get any more skills, do I? 
I should get the suppressed sound ability, really. Still got tons left to get. Doesn't get back up, okay. A new ninjutsu I'll never use. Yeah, it does, does, doesn't seem like as useful as the other two. That one. Why centipedes, though? They're creepy. Centipedes are the bad guys in a lot of Japanese folklore. That's a better, that's a better explanation. <laughs> Port to the forest and come right back. Another secret, not a boss, I promise. Okay. No, thank, thank you for actually pointing that out and not telling me what it was. That was, that was a nice, not a nice surprise, but it was a cool surprise. <laughs> I, I wouldn't have wanted to miss that. Surprise, motherfucker. I was surprised. Well, I mean, I could hear the sound, but... You're a fucking cunt, Ron. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my fucking god, I can't fight these guys! Oh, he's got two fucking bars as well. Oh, Why? Why? Why is he here? Why? In Sekiro 2, they're gonna ha have you fight five apes simultaneously and then three headless. <laughs> There's a trick to these. Uh, is it the purple umbrella? Because honestly, I'm getting kind of fucking fed up fighting these arseholes now. It's a mini boss, you cheeky bastard. <laughs> uh, I do, I do hope they do a Sekiro two or like. I don't know actually. Like I like, I like it when FromSoft tries different things, but the 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 deflecting in this is just so satisfying. I kind of want another game with this like combat in it. Right. Okay. This is the one that you get the special finger from. Or the ring from. Uh, is there a way to backstab this guy? And can someone please give me a hint on what the, the trick is on these guys? Because uh, it's, yeah, it's driving me mental. Apart from using um, confetti, what's what's the what's the trick? Give me a give me a hint. It's tiny potato salad. Oh, actually, a uh, uh, business owner. I've done um, a bit of Jedi Fallen Order. Um, I had to borrow it from work, though, and I, I couldn't finish it in the time that I was allowed to borrow it for, so... Ollie is well-trained, yes. You can air death blow, but it's difficult. I suppose I'd have to do it from the other side, wouldn't I? Like, can I run past? I could probably run past, couldn't I? Yeah, isn't it actually isn't it better for me to to pour in from the other side? Cause then I can get up above, right? <clears throat> I think it's there. Oh, you know, actually, I haven't bought that purple gourd yet. Maybe I should buy it now. Oh, the, the air death blow, the one where you can get an instant kill if the enemy jumps. I haven't seen this guy jump yet. Hang on. Let me travel to uh, Mibu Village, I think it is. You can beat him without anti-air death blow. Oh, I'm sure you can, yeah, but I, I guess that's easier, right? Um, how much? He's got tre treasure carp scales. I need to find where this last um, treasure carp dude is. 
Right, so 1800. Let's get rid of one of those. I've got two of those. Let's just, yeah, get rid of both of those. Buy that. So the refills, um, refill upon rest, okay. And then I'll buy both the treasure carp scales. What's that? Another 600. So I've, I've got, wow, I've got 17 treasure carp scales. Hmm, interesting. <laughs> Just need to find where there's a, well, I assume there's a second vendor. I beat the eight blitzer first first go actual first go like I joke about doing first goes a lot of the time but yeah the the Kamehameha is is really horrible we tr stopped trying to run far away from him he was easy I need to um, I need to try and figure out how to get into these bits as well. There's there's so there's this ledge up there, and there's some items up there because there's another it looks like there's another cave behind that. Oh, wait, what's happened here? Oh, has this place been wrecked because of the um, uh, because the monkey came through here? Do something. Yeah, I can't get him from there, can I? Um, alright. Oh, I actually no, I've not actually not beaten one of these yet, Ian. I've I've not fought them enough. Might be able to drop down on him from here. No, I have, haven't been. I yeah, I just haven't fought him enough yet. Sekiro Shadow dies twice is a bit much. I think. I think Sekiro would have been better. I actually think I'm, if I drop down from there, I'm going to do myself some damage. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's 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 honestly amazing that um, Activision didn't try and interfere more. Like, oh yeah, yeah. In, you know, put microtransactions in, put all of that jazz in, make seventeen add-ons. Although actually, the add-ons for FromSoft games are pretty good, aren't they? Generally. Well, he broke his neck, but he can suck his own dick now. Oh, that's why isn't that muted? Come on. Okay, no, mute. I think the mute button on my phone's dying. I need the power I need the power of hobnobs to beat me here. Yep, 
yeah, I, I'm not a fan of DLC unless it's done well. Um, but yeah, FromSoft seems good. CD Projekt stuff's usually pretty good. I don't think it's a terrible name, Tiny. I, I just think Sekiro would have been better. Because no one calls it, like, when I talk to customers about it, no one calls it Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. Somehow I knew Alvin would be uh, would be on that one. I didn't realise I was getting terror there. Oh, so I can hit those uh, orbs as well with this at least. That's three in a row now, by the looks of it. Fuck you. Yeah, that, that didn't seem so bad that time. That Yeah, that's what I like. Uh, that's when I like DLC Tron, when they don't cut it from the main game and they just make it as a completely separate entity. I'm absolutely fine with that, because I want more content. But if you're actually cutting shit out of a game just to sell it to me separately, just get fucked, basically. Um, yeah, yeah, I could do a montage of clips for the um, clip of the month thing. I'm sure that wouldn't take too uh, too long to put together. Absolutely, yeah. When you get the right equipment, that didn't seem too bad. Although you have to have that um, confetti, really, don't you? Dream, how are you doing, by the way?
Is that what Kingdom Hearts 3 did? Is that DLC not, not great then? Uh, Blitzer, yeah, I have heard of um, Elden Ring. Looking forward to seeing what it's going to be like. Oh, nice stream. You feel almost human, not not like a goblin then. Uh, do any of my work uh, workmates know that I stream? Yeah, uh, I think they all do actually. Right, let's see. Malcontent's ring, an old ring well suited for slender fingers. Kingfisher is engraved on the underside. Can use to upgrade the finger whistle prosthetic tool. Wearing this ring as you blow the finger whistle will create a somber tune. The weeping voice is full of solitude and beauty, possibly somber enough to temporarily quell a voice of rage. So I'm guessing with that, um, it'll probably make some of those ghost bosses a bit of a joke, potentially. I didn't even get a fucking bead off of him. That's bollocks. <clears throat> it's pretty much a boss rush with a story in between. What, the uh, Kingdom Hearts DLC? Finger whistle sounds dirty. Ian! Come on, man. It does, though, you're right. Actually, um, let me see if I can take out the other one then while we're here. I think I've got to go to those depths. <laughs> oh. Yeah, see, there's a cave over there, and I'm not sure how to get to it. Uh, but also, I can't... This this way is being caved in. I guess by the the uh, guardian ape. How the fuck do I get to that other boss now? Um... It's like a bottom, bottomless hole, I think it is. That sounds dirty as well. <laughs> it's just, yeah, this, this game is just full of filth. <coughs> Bottomless hole, that's not a nice thing to call your girlfriend. You said it. Yeah, it's a granny's here. Um... this one the first time. I'm not sure how like far down you can go here before it's uh, fatal. Is there any enemies? That'd be a yep. Not really sure why I did that, but I did. I think it was full down there, wasn't it? You're not going to attract any ladies making those sort of noises, mate. Hmm. How did I get to that other boss then? Because there's another one of those um, Hatchimen guys. And I'm sure it was in the previous area. 
Am I mistaken? Seems like a catch to you. Maybe I'll try that next time. Uh, am I? Mi there's, there's got to be bits missing here, right? In the abandoned dungeon. Not another headless Tron. No, there's, uh, there's another Hatchiman uh, dude that was. I'm sure it was just before the um, poison pool. I'm just gonna I'm gonna try just dropping down here like just for good just to see what happens okay so there is a there is a point where you have to grapple up oh fuck didn't mean to do that I'll ignore the first one grab the second uh, or just miss both. Let's grab that one. Um, can I grab that one as well? Hmm. I must be able to get over there, right? No? Alright. Um I don't think I killed anything up here. Are you talking about headless? So I'd like to um I'd like to get all of the prayer beads if I could before I finish. Not just for uh like health purposes, but for like just saying that I I did it. I'll oh, forget these guys come alive twice. Isn't it? Oh, the area before I jump down here. Um, I can have a look. Yeah, because like back here. Like through that, I thought there was another area with like a uh, with a boss. Like it was a big, big open circle area. But I might be just I might not be remembering the uh, the proper order. There's a secret entrance in the dungeon. Right. Oh, look! It was this one. It was literally right behind me. <laughs> My bad. That's where I want to do the leaping death blow, I guess.
Right, so when they do a block, that means they're going to disappear then, I guess. I nearly got him. Yeah, okay, they're not they're not so bad once you've got the uh, the right setup. Ceremonial Tanto, dagger with a stark white blade and hilt, converts vitality into spirit emblems. Resting replenishes its charges. Originally, this tanto was used in a ritual offering to the dragon in which an emblem would be cut from one's own life force and set adrift on the fountainhead waters. The blade is inscribed with its true name, Devoted Soul. So is that another... Is that an upgrade material? Or is that... A, that's not a prosthetic tool, is it? I need to find out what I need to find out what the water of the palace is, and what the precious bait is for. Car pies? Oh yeah, the car pies I can't use because I didn't get that anyway. <clears throat> I was confusing you because I was assuming you did this one because you just came from there and you couldn't have missed it. Forget we're dealing with Tom here. I just dodged it. I didn't didn't fight it. Uh, have a good one, uh, Alvin. Sorry. Oh, the, uh, wait, the water of the palace is a reusable item. Oh, no, I've got to give that to someone, don't I? In the, um, in the village, I think it was. Wasn't it the priest dude that was, like, super thirsty all the time? Oh, the Tanto, right. Oh, so is it, like, a, it's a quick item, is it? just realized I bought the um, stupid um, purple gourd and I never fucking used it. <laughs> That's quite good though, getting um, getting spirit emblems out of it. It's quite useful. I thought I saw a hidden door back here. Oh, there you go. Now, I don't think I came in this way, did I? No, it was over... I think it was over that direction. So is this how I get through to that other little secret cave? Crumbling Offering Tower. Here lie the vassals of the Ashina clan executed after the Great Rebellion. May their spirits rest. Tons of zombos. It's like you're turning your blood into bullets in Bloodborne, trading health for ammo. Seems pretty good. Like, could you just. What's to stop you from just using it next to a. Um... Oh. No, oh, I know where we are now. I think. Yeah. I didn't realise there was a path down there. Okay guys, I'm gonna ask I'm gonna start asking for potato salad a bit more often now. But um so the Where's the best place to go here? Just gonna have a quick look around. Actually, no, fuck it. So that um, that the poison pool area. How do I get into those little caves at the top there? Oh, 
I'll check on the book. Okay, I'll go and do that now. Um, it was Senpo Temple, wasn't it? Wow, it's got... Has it turned uh, to dark now? Like, to night? I haven't killed Al yet, no. I'll have a look anyway, yeah. Can't hurt, can it? Yeah, no, it's not there. Cause it would be, it be, it would be there, right, in the middle. Uh, what have I got left to to beat? So I've got the other Satchiman guy under the waterfall. Um, just trying to think here. We've got the owl. Hmm. Two up. Uh, I don't really want to start uh, another boss when I'm in desperate need of a pee. So I will go for one. And I'm going to just go and stretch my legs. Uh, I'll be back in about two minutes. If anyone needs a pee break, now's the time.
Lovely. What's up, Pingu? I think there's there's worse things to be doing than um, staring at Jill all day. Jill's like maximum waifu. <clears throat> Um, I tell you what, Tron, what is this, um, what's this book called? Do you know? Like, what, what does it do? Our fifth skill tree. Mushin... Arts location. Why are you calling me the man, Pingu? Lord P the wiser, you've graced me with your presence. Thank you. Uh, let's see. I'm just, I'm just looking it up. <coughs> Uh, this can be obtained by completing a quest from Teng the Tengu of Ashina. And upon mastering the final skill of any skill tree, it will provide you with the es uh, Mushin Esoteric Text. Uh, oh, after he leaves his second location, he can be acquired from Ishin As Ashina. If Ishin dies, and will be at his body in Kuro's room. Oh, okay. So I've got to go to uh, Ishin's location. Not that one. It's not a skill book. Oh. Do you know what it's called? Uh, you can call me Tom, Pingu. <laughs> it's a book that you give to the Divine Child. Um, right. So, what, she has a quest line as well? What, what, what does it give me, this, this, um, like, by doing this? All right, I, I, I won't. I won't look for it then. If, if you're going to look for it, uh, what can I do in the meantime? Oh, I could. Um, I could give that other um, ghost dude a go. <clears throat> but I need to get that last book as well, regardless. Need to try and find that. Tom, sounds boring. It's fine. Yeah, because the man isn't boring. Wait, <laughs> okay, what's... <laughs> Is she dead? Hmm. Okay. Some, something just popped up there for a second. Yeah, he's still there. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, that's a bad, bad start. Really bad start. Is that just instant terror? Right there. Fuck, I didn't uh, didn't heal. That was silly. Hmm. 
so I didn't actually get the aerial um, aerial attack on him last time. Then, interesting. That sucks. Could have got it that first time. How close can I get to him before he activates? Let's just try it again. No. Why? Fuck off, would you? Like, I don't need you fighting me as well. Oh my god. Hang on a minute. I should probably equip the um, gourd. seems a bit harder. Right, so that bit where... What, what, what? Where? Who? Oh, are you serious? I thought I was dead there. Now I'm dead! <laughs> what a load of bollocks. close. There we go. Lapis Lazuli. Precious Azure Lazulite used for the highest level of prosthetic tool upgrades. Fountain had Fountainhead Lazulite is a symbol of eternity, and anything forged with it will never break nor rust thanks to the blessing of the Divine Dragon. Tools forged with Lazulite transcend human intellect and are dubbed as treasures of the Divine Dragon. Sweet. Good shit. Now you guys... Had enough of you. Oh, there's only one, okay. Check your inventory for the holy book. Uh, would it be a key item? It's called Holy... What? It's, the, the thing is called Holy Tomb. It doesn't look like it. Uh, 
I need to get more um, uh, confetti. Oh shit, I didn't use the memory of the head of safe. <laughs> Why do I keep forgetting to use those? <laughs> Every time. Right. At one time, the guardian ape shared its den with a mate, but he alone became infested while the other passed away. Now even the flowers often tribute to her passing have withered to dust. What was the other ape then that we found? Right, so attack power 10, vitality 18. I'm guessing vitality goes up to 20, does it? What, what, yeah, what, what exactly are you trying to do? Like, what is this you're trying to sort of point me towards? Is it, is it worth doing? Um, also got to figure out how to get around that other bit. It's ending related and missable, right. Right, yeah. Yeah, but um the, the the other one, the one that was in that second fight, the the like brown ape, who was that? Am I planning on dying more often than Sketch did? How how much did Sketch die? I thought he said the mate had died though. Or was the mate uh also Undead. Ow. Give my health back. So I need to I need to figure out how to get over there because there's a dude there. Um, is there a point I can jump up? Yeah, I thought I got something from the monk. Sketch died about 5,000 times. I bet it wasn't actually 5,000, was it? Um, do I have it then? Uh, that's upgrade materials, sorry. Yeah, I guess I must have it. Well, or had it. Yeah, I, I think I might have given her a book. Now that I think about it. Possibly? Eat the rice. What now? Also, how the... Yeah, how the fuck do I get up here? I don't think I've given any rice to Kuro, no.
Or did I? No, did I? I think I might have. I haven't done the boss at the end of this area, no. This fucking quest is so confusing. It's one thing I, I'm not that fond of with uh, FromSoft stuff. Or at least from what I'm understanding from this. That looks like a goodie up there. How the shit balls do you get there? Welcome back, Ollie. I haven't progressed an inch, no. <laughs> Rice for Kuro. Um, I have I got the sweet rice ball from Kuro and I've got normal rice I need to I need to eat that sweet rice ball Oh my god, this is the fucking most confusing shit ever. How is anyone meant to, like, know how to do this? And how do I get in there? Go see Divine Child, okay. Jesus Christ. Uh, if her dialogue didn't change, get the plain rice rest to talk again. I'm I'm assuming that I can only get more rice if I use the rice that's already in my possession, right? Okay, right, let's use this one then. Should I, um... Should I use the sweet rice ball as well? Okay, I just eat it now, right? No? Uh, I... Uh, yes, uh, Lord P. I think, yeah, I think I did. The old lady, right? You need to use the sweet rice ball at least once, right? I'll tell you what, let's, um, let's see if this works first. So I just rest then. And then talk to her. I guess maybe I've got to travel away and then back again. I, I did, but I had to, I needed some help with the kite bit. That was cryptic as fuck. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll I'll use that sweet rice ball then. I might as well. <clears throat> I don't have to use it in like a specific fight or anything like that, do I? Use it in front of Kuro for extra dialogue. Oh, sweet. Okay, I'll do that. Let's do that now. But 
always up for some more dialogue. Uh, I mean, I'm nowhere near like ready to fight the last boss yet because um, I still need to beat the uh, the owl for the second time. オオカミ、源頼み。はい。そうか。案じておったぞ。龍の涙。必ず手に入れて参ります。あ、頼む。オオカミ。何やら<笑> 心強いことじゃ。何やら? Uh, should I go and check on uh, Ishin as well to see if uh, the Tengu dude's there for that last uh, book? But I just went past it, didn't I? Nanyara, knife no good, and Tokiori. It didn't give me any anything extra. Or is it like extra dialogue somewhere else? All right, so get more rice. Um. Pass. I mean, I haven't really dealt with the divine child for a little while. Okay, so we got some more rice. I guess I need to eat this one as well. And then do the same thing. Um, I don't think she did, no. Alright, I'll go... Go back somewhere else and rest. Tom, opinion. Should I hire a cleaner for my house? Jess wants us to hire a cleaner. Um, how much is a cleaner? And how dirty is your house? I guess is the... Uh, well, how, how, how long does it take to clean the house? I guess. Right, so you have to wait until she gets sick. At least thirty minutes. How 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 often? Like once a week or something? Oh, it's not ready. Do I have to wait a bit of time? This is... Oh, there you go. This is confusing as fuck. Right, well, I've got one of those. So give give her the persimmon, right? Should I just give her all of the items I've got? There's no bad, like, things I can give her, right? Yeah, and I'd say, um... I'd say get a cleaner if the 
30 minutes you get back extra is worth the money you spend. So it depends how much money you spend on it as well. You can give her the tarot persimmon, but it's only an extra dialogue line. Um, should, should I give it to her? Because it's unlikely that I'm going to use it otherwise. Right, let's, I'll just give her a persimmon. There you go. That's got more rice. Right, yeah, I, I've, I've just not... Oh, now we need to give some to Kuro. Rice for Kuro, there you go. Um, yeah, I've not I've not been using the rice as a, as a healing item, so... Yeah, this is uh, this is pretty bad quest uh, game design. I'd, I'd agree. Right, rice that has spilled forth from the hand of the divine child of rejuvenation intend to be a gift for Kuro. Rice is precious. I want nothing more than for the divine heir of the dragon's heritage to get better. Kuro would likely be pleased to receive it. Right, we're going to use that. Do I have to use that rice that I've got again, or should I just save that for a fight now? Right, just give Kira the rice. Sweet. Wunderbar. Did you not use the rice either, Ian? Yep. Guy and Guard plays games exactly like I do, just saving items for a, a, a boss that you'll never actually get to because it doesn't exist. So you just save a billion items. もどったか。狼よ。はい。苦労様に預かり物がございます。預かり物。これを。これは米か。はい。先方寺の巫女。苦労様にと。そうか。それはありがたい。良き米と見える。<笑> じつに艶々してお <laughs> okay, so rest after you give the rice. Okay, sorted. Then talk to Kuro again, right? Yeah, that 10 seconds was so bad. Sweet rice ball. Sweet sticky rice ball made by Kuro using rice from the child of rejuvenation. Slow grants medium vitality recovery and constant posture recovery over time. Once when the wolf was starving, his father wordlessly handed him a rice ball. It was astoundingly delicious. This one is sure to taste just as good. Oh, 
Okay, so eat one of these in front of him. そうであろう。そうであろう。ナイス。狼よ。私のお He's a good boy, Kuro. Oh, Okami ka? Daiji nai ka? Oh. So ja. Kore o sonata ni. Divine grass as well. Ryu no namida. Kanorazu te ni irete maerimas. Ah, tanomu. Okami. So does he occasionally just give us items now? Yeah, that's that's it. So is what is there any more to that? Like does does that what does that do? I now go talk to the divine child again. Right, okay. Guys, it's all right. Don't worry. <laughs> No, we don't need to argue about this. I I agree. I think it's bad quest like game design, like doing quests like this. I know it's interesting. It's like more interesting when you discover how when you do do it. But I I it frustrates the fuck out of me as someone who wants to do everything in a game, and I want to find it nat as naturally as possible. It, it's it's bad game design for me. But at the same time. Like Tron said, if you're using rice a lot, then you're probably more likely to stumble across it. Even then, though, you don't know that it's needed for a certain ending, right? Miko, ni okome o watashite itadakemashi ta ka? Ah, moratta kome o Miko sama ga ohagi ni shite kudasatta. Ma, ryuin no Miko ga. ご自身でそのようなことを。とても張り切っておられた。そして。とても。うまかった。それは良かったです。ああ。そうか。<笑> ゆえに迷い。それでも選ばれたのでしょうね。ミコの忍びよ。一つ聞きたいのですが。なんだ。ミコ様の名は何と苦労様だ。苦労様。とても良い響き。いつかお会いしたいものです。it is optional, don't think they intended for you to pick an ending. I think you're supposed to play and see which one you get. Yeah, I, I get that. I, I I think the the reason why it's it's not good for me is because um I, I like to get the best like the ideal ending for me the first time I play it through. Because it's very I, I I seldom get a chance to play through a game more than once. Like, once I've got this ending, I, I, I'm going to move on to the next game. As much as I like this game, I'm done. I'm done. At least for now. So I, I like to be able to get the ending that I want. Regardless if it sometimes spoils a little bit little bit for me. Heat move, huh? <laughs> That's your answers for everywhere, everything, Ian. Not arguing that it's bad game design, but saying you would never encounter the problem if you use it naturally. The developer assumed you would. I, I still think it's bad because you're not necessarily going to come back here, are you? Because you have to come back here after a certain point as well. It's just, it's really cryptic. A lot of this is really cryptic. Yeah, for, as a from soft game, uh, it's it's expected, but as a general game design, it's poor. 
I think yeah, I, agree. I think that's probably the best way to do it to talk about it. But uh, agreed, like it's totally a subjective thing. I I don't think it's good, but I, that's not necessarily right. Right now, rest and see if she's still there. Okay. Everyone's got preferences when it comes to this sort of stuff. Right, so she's gone. Has she gone to see Kuro? I'm guessing. Going to the monkeys arena. Oh, the screen monkey one. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Um, where was it again? Oh no, it's um, it's right over there, isn't it? Duh. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's it's interesting. Like I like the fact that you can discover lots of things by just playing through the game. But at the same time, I like I said, I personally like to find all of the content uh, without the need for guides. Can I talk to? <laughs> oh, he's, he's still saying the same stuff. あの方たちを失いたくない。けれど、流院 いいえ、皆。あの方は本当にお優しいのですよ。これを渡してくださったのも。おい。ニコの忍び。いらしていたのですね。おかげで友達と深く語らうことができました。おちの巫女たち。はい、それで あなたにお伝えしたいことがあります。流院を立つのではなく、あるべき場所にお返しする道について。流院を返す。そうです。流院は故郷を離たれ、この日の元に流れ着いたもの。あるべきではない場所に、あるべきではないものがある。我らのような歪んだ命を生み出そうとする者が絶えぬのでしょう。流院や流院に連なる我らはきっと帰るべきなのです。西へ神なる龍の故郷へとただいかにしてたどり着くかそれがまだわかりません。定かのことを知る者は
Yeah, that's true, Tron. Like that that's what I mean. My playstyle doesn't really um doesn't really lend itself too well to this kind of game design. I need to play Neo 1, actually. Um, that might be a, a good stream game, potentially. You can, you can do both, but you can only have one ending. Right, okay, that's fine. So, to find this priest, go to uh, Main Hall Idol at Sempo Temple and find the cave by the side entrance. I think I know where that one is. This is completely separate from any Emma stuff. You can only have one ending, but you can pick it at the end if you've unlocked them. Right, okay. Yeah, I, um, I've been... I want to... Basically, I want to pick up Neo, like, physically, though, quite cheap. I'm thinking of um, picking up Neo 2 um, from uh, from work actually because there's a there's a pretty cool um, steelbook edition they're doing. Yeah, because you can get you get loot in um, in that game, can't you? Yeah, so he's in this cave, right? And these guys are a joke now. What's that? Thank God they allow you to do it without beating the game once. Most games do that. What you mean, um, like locking quests behind like a first playthrough? Right. Oh, I, yeah, I, I did. Uh, I, I think I went through through here earlier, oh, a lot earlier, and then I didn't find anything of interest. Jeez, it's dark, isn't it? Holy chapter, Dragon's Return. Sacred passage on a path to enlightenment. Undying, I pray for the dragon's return. Undying, lo, let us wait an age. For the divine heir to assimilate the cold dragon tears. For the cradle to consume the pair of serpentine fruits. That the cradle endure, giving him shelter, granting his return to the west. Okay, I'm guessing that's the snake hearts, because I've got those. Um... Right, yeah, we got that. One of my favourite sub-bosses was the Vega-style uh, guy thing, because I felt like a badass parrying the shit out of him. I actually uh, did him completely the wrong way, in because <laughs> I hadn't really learned how to properly parry at that point. I waited for him to do his move, and then I used the axe to like really do a lot of posture damage on him. Right, okay. Right, go to Divine Child now, okay.